So I've already applied foundation on my face and now I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. eyelid primer and put that onto my eyelids. Then I'm just going to rub that in with my finger. I'm just using my fluffy blending brush and using the color Naked and putting that all over my eyelid and then up into my crease area. Now I'm going in with Urban Decay's Buck and putting that on a flat shader brush and then just putting that onto my eyelid area, not going above the crease. Going in with my L'Oreal Gel Liner and I'm just going to line my upper lash line with that. And I'm going to go a little thinner than Kylie Jenner does just because my eyelashes aren't as long as hers and if I do it too thick, you won't be able to see my lashes even though I will be wearing false lashes later. Then I just added a little wing to complete my liner look. Now I'm just using this Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in Black Velvet and I'm just going to tight line my upper lash line with that to make it look very black. Now I just put on some false lashes. And these aren't as full and long as the ones Kylie Jenner usually wears, but I still want to look like me. So I went with a little bit more of a natural lash, and then I'm just using my eyelash curler to blend my natural and false lashes together. And then if you do want more of a Kylie Jenner lash, you can go in with a volumizing mascara, just like this Benefit one, and apply that to your top lashes, wiggling from the bottom to the top. And for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use this Clinique mascara, which is specifically made for your lower lash line. And I'm just going to apply this, and it, the wand is so small it works really well on just getting those little hairs and coating them with mascara. And you usually don't see Kylie Jenner wearing a strong contour and highlight, so I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer and just do a light contour, just to give some dimension to my face so it doesn't look flat. And you just want to apply that to the hollows of your cheek, your temples, your forehead into your hairline and then just blend, blend, blend it out. Again, you don't really see Kylie wearing um, very strong blushes, so I'm just going in with this peach blush from NYX, which is just a really light, very light pink color and applying that to apples of my cheeks and blending back into my hairline. Alright, so Kylie has very strong brows, which look amazing on her, so I'm just going to use my Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette, and I'm going to use small stroking movements to just fill my eyebrow in, and um, by doing small movements, you make it look more like a natural hair versus like you drawing your eyebrows on your face. Um, <laughs> and then just use this fully end of the eyebrow pencil to blend, um, blend it out. And now for the part that Kylie's most famous for is her voluptuous lips. And I'm just going to take a nude lip liner and I'm going to overline my lip just a little to make it look more plump. But you don't want to overline too much just because then it's just going to look weird. Um, so I would, I would say right above your natural lip line, start using your lip pencil. And I'm just going to go in with this Revlon lip crayon and I'm going to fill that in. And it looks pretty similar to what she normally wears on her lips, but it's not exact. Um, but like I said, this is just an inspired look, so I'm not trying to look exactly like her. And we're done! So we did a pretty natural face with a very plump lip, which is her signature look. And of course, if you're doing a Kylie look, you want to make sure you practice your selfies. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.